Hello everybody, Mustafa's Movie Corner here. Today, I'm going to be doing my Another Thomas and Friends collection video. This time, this is for the 2021 edition of my DVD collection. As you can probably already tell, I've scored a bunch of whole DVDs um, since, hmm, I believe in last year ago, I think. Like, wait. Yeah, since last year, I've scored a bunch of whole DVDs, which I kept scoring a whole bunch of DVDs from whenever I was in trip stores, like by Village or the Celebrating Army Trip Store about the time. Yeah, I have a bunch of DVDs to show, and especially for a few ones I've ordered recently, which I bet most of you already know. If not, we'll get into it momentarily. Like, yeah, my DVDs has increased that much. I've already done the VHS collection last time ago, so this is the DVD collection I might be doing since my DVDs has been increased that much. And as I said before, I did score a bunch whenever I was in trip stores about the time. And yeah, so here's the DVD collection. So. Let's now begin. I'm going to begin with the very first ever Thomas and Friends DVD, which was ever to be released. It. Best of Thomas 2001 DVD, Collector's Edition. Yep. This was the first ever Thomas and Friends DVD to be released it overall. And I believe this was one of my absolute favorites because I did see this a lot when I was like a little kid, which I believe in 2006 or so. Maybe since 2006 is like when I start watching this video, of course. So, yeah. Next up, Best of James 2002 DVD. Next DVD, Cranky Bugs from 2002. Originally, a VHS copy was released in 1999 with the Anchor Bay Entertainment logo at the end. And then, I believe it was re-released in 2001, which it doesn't have the Anchor Bay logo at the end, which I, I do own this on VHS, which... It has the Anchor Bay Entertainment logo at the end, so my features copies from 1999 originally. Give me this booklet, which I'll show. Next DVD, Racism, Races, Rescues, and Runaways, also from 2002. Wait, this one had fell. I need to fix it. There you go. This one was also originally released in 1999. And then, again, it was re-released in 2001. Next DVD. Again, just fixing up. Here we go. Alrighty then. 
Next DVD, Best of Percy, All Super 2002, Collector's Edition. The VHS copy was originally released in the 2000 Bond. Next DVD, Spills and Chills from 2002. The VHS copy was originally released in 2000. A little downside was, um, the cover art may look a little faded. I don't know if y'all can tell, but in real life, hmm, yeah, I can tell that the cover art looks like a little bit faded. But oh well. Now this next DVD, which I'm about to show, is super difficult to find at this point, and this DVD is also from 2002, which. It was originally released on VHS in 2000. Thomas's Christmas Wonderland and other Thomas Adventures. Free Inside music, music CD Sampler. Yep. This DVD right here is most difficult to find these days, which for me, I got lucky to find this for cheap in Amazon.ca, which I believe it was in April. Yep, April, I think. It's like where I bought this DVD, which I'm glad I bought it for cheap. So, glad to have this. Here's the DVD disc. Hold on, wait. Here it is. And here's the music CD they came with and the booklet ready then here's the booklet ready then Ready then? Hmm. Since it's gonna be difficult to put this back in, I might as well put my iPad down. Alrighty then. Next DVD is from 2003. Just fix it. Hmm. Okay, there we go. Like right now, anyways, this next DVD. From 2003, Thomas and his friends help out. Originally, the VHS copy was originally released in 1996, and then it was re-released on VHS again in 2002, which I do have both copies. And despite the case and the disc that had the Hidden Entertainment logo, at the beginning of this DVD, this actually has the Ghoulain Entertainment logo, which was very unexpected and weird as well, which I was definitely not expecting for that DVD to have the Ghoulain logo at the beginning, although it was released in 2003 from Hit Entertainment. Right there, and right there too. Hmm. So I'm guessing like this one of the last of the DVDs to feature the Ghoulain Entertainment logo at the beginning, which was kind of almost the same as for two Thomas and Friends features tapes from 2003, which are Trust Thomas and Thomas Percy and the Dragon, which those two tapes had the Ghoulain Entertainment logo on the cover, but although they weren't shown on the actual tape since 
Salty Secret was one of the last of the features tapes to feature the Ghoulain Entertainment logo on the tape. And because that, Hit Entertainment, Hit Entertainment has now taken over the Ghoulain Entertainment logo since Ghoulain Entertainment logo wasn't there anymore. Yeah. Hit Entertainment has now taken over the Ghoulain Entertainment, which this next DVD, Percy's Chocolate Crunch 2003 DVD, which this one, along with the VHS, which was definitely the very first ones to feature the Hit Entertainment logo. Although, originally, for Thomas and his friends help out DVD, despite being the first one from Hit Entertainment, but for that DVD, like I said, this has the Ghoulain Entertainment logo, which this one, despite being the last one, well, I could say this was the first one, I think, but I believe that for this video, like on DVD and including the VHS copy, they're both the first ones to feature the Hit Entertainment logo. Because I believe the Hit Entertainment logo was shown on that DVD and including the VHS copy, which it was shown at the end with the Nick Jr. logo. Well, not at the beginning. So, yeah. Give me a second. Sorry for interruption. I had to stop. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Sorry for the distraction, and now we shall may continue on. Right. It's a cricket. There we go. Here's the desk and this booklet. Then, there we go. Already then. Now this next DVD from 2003, James and the Red Balloon. Booklet. Here it is. Excuse me, my apologies. Next DVD, Best of Gordon, 2004 DVD. Great. There we go. Sorry, it's just that some of the DVDs might keep on falling off. What a coincidence. Mainly because they can't stand that longer. Right, if hopefully it doesn't distract me by recording, like right anyways. This is from Collector's Edition.
Next DVD. Thomas and his friends get along to Boston in 4 DVD. The features copy was originally released in 1998. And then, the features was re-released in 2000. And then, in 2004, the DVD got re-released from Hit Entertainment. And yes, the logo of it was shown at the beginning. And even at the end as well. And even at the beginning as well before that video of this starts. So yeah. Here's the booklet. Excuse me once again, my apologies. Next DVD, Thomas and the Gen Engine 2004 DVD. Next DVD, It's Great to Be an Engine 2004 DVD. This is a reprint distributed by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. Yep. Next D. Oh, great. These were just about to ruin my video by falling off. What the heck I can do? I don't know what to do. But like right now anyways, this next DVD, Hooray for Thomas to Boston in 5 DVD. Right, here it is. I'm hoping to get the VHS copy of this, which was where, and I hope I can get it someday. Well, although I have come across it for cheap on last time, but the reason why I was unable to get it on last time, because I've been busy buying other stuff. But if hopefully if I have the time, I'll buy the VHS copy of this if hopefully I have the time. Right. Hopefully I have the time so I can buy the features copy of this. Hopefully I will, if I have the time. But like right now anyways, um, here's this booklet. Excuse me once again, my apologies. Mm. Next DVD, Songs from the Station 2005 DVD. Reprint again from 20th Century Fox. Mm. 
do you know what actually all may have to pile up the dvd so they wouldn't keep on continuing to fall over by ruining the video hold on yep Okay, hold on. I'll just make the pile like good. Just hold on. Sorry. Okay, almost getting the pile work done okay so this is how what the pile will look like while i'm doing this collection video for now so it's they they shouldn't be kept on continuing to fall over so just in that way my video won't have to be ruined at all of course right so here's what this pile is gonna be if hopefully it doesn't ruin my video but like right now anyways this next dvd the 2005 dvd of percy saves today On Friday, I actually did just ordered a VHS copy, which was for cheap, which is good. Because apparently, this tape is now getting wear, so I had to buy it immediately. Luckily, I bought it for cheap. So yeah, it should be coming in in a couple more weeks. So yeah, hopefully it should come in. Here are the inserts. This booklet. Ready then, that's that. Already then, next DVD. Thomas and the Really Brave Vengeance 2006 DVD. Hmm, for this, hmm, for the features, copy of this, um, many of the just copies of this is are, are now getting out of print and hard to find for a cheap price, which many of the features copies of this is now getting expensive to find these days, which it's going over like $100, like maybe like 160 or 170 or something like that. I don't know. If hopefully I could save up my money or if hopefully I could find the features copy for a cheap price. Because they are now getting expensive to find these days. So yeah, and if hopefully I could get it. So yeah. Next DVD. Thomas Comes to Breakfast 2006 DVD. I do have two VHS copies, which the VHS was originally released in 1998. And then it got re-released again in 2000. And then in 2006, the DVD of this was released. But only about in, in that time... The DVD was released in a different cover art instead of the same one as the 2000 features, which was kind of a little bizarre, but the cover art, I say, looks pretty nice as it is, so hmm, I guess I'm not going to care about it. So 
Break it. Here we go. And the booklet. Um, as you can tell, um, the booklet, the booklet's kind of a little crinkled. I don't know if you can tell, but in real life, I can see it's a little crinkled. Or maybe it's that is. I don't know what just happened to it, but oh well. Next DVD, Tales from the Tracks 2006 DVD. Oh, great, my back's a little hurting me right now. Um, just like Thomas and the Really Brave Engines, the VHS copies of this are now getting rare and out of print and extinct to find one of these days. Especially if this the VHS copy of this is more rare than Thomas and the Really Brave Vengeance, which I've been currently looking for the VHS copy. As I said before in the VHS collection, if I find it, like even though if it's expensive, I'm just going to end up being a savage by paying that high. Although it ain't necessarily, but I've been currently and dying to get the VHS copy of this for the lots of time and I still have no luck in finding it. And I'm really hoping I can find it if any of y'all Thomas and France fans could help me or I've been or I'll try to look for it. So yeah. Anyways, this next DVD Thomas Percy and the Dragon from 2006. The VHS copy was released in 1993 originally, and then 10 years later, the VHS was released in 2003 from Gulane Entertainment. And then, in 2006, the DVD was released it. Here's the booklet. So many booklets and these DVDs to show, of course. Next, the 2007 DVD of A Big Day for Thomas. The features was originally released in 1998 and then it was re released in from Hit Entertainment 2003. And then this DVD right here was re released in 2007, also from Hit Entertainment. Right there. Yep. Wait, it's a little more hurting. I may try my best not to bend it or I may hurt so much. Next the 2007 DVD of Percy's Ghostly Trick. This next DVD I got recently, as y'all saw my last update, which is for August 12th, I think. Thomas and the Special Letter 2007 DVD. It 
It was brand new when I got it. And if I haven't said so for Percy's ghostly trick, the VHS copy was originally released in 1994 before the DVD of this got released in 2007. And for the VHS copy of this, it was originally released in 1995. And then, it was re-released in 2002, also on features, but from Ghoulane Entertainment. And then, the DVD of this was released in 2007, but from Hit Entertainment. Booklet. Next, the originally a 2005 DVD, but this is a reprint from 2007, I think. 10 years of Thomas and Friends. Yep, this is a reprint copy with a different cover art. Um, the features was originally released in 1999, and then in 2001, it was re-released in, in, on VHS, which was titled 10 Years of Thomas and Friends. In 1999, it was titled 10 Years of Thomas the Tank Engine in France. And then in 2005, the DVD was released, in, but in 2007, they released a disc DVD with a different cover art, but it was just a case because the DVD inside is still from 2005. And that's how this DVD was originally released it. So yeah. Next is the Kids Double Feature DVD. I mainly sh I mainly showed this DVD just for this Thomas and Friends Calling All Engines. Yep. This is a Thomas and Friends DVD in this kids double feature, so I have to show it. And for that Bob the Builder, Scoop's favorite adventures, I believe I don't have on VHS, which I'm hoping to get it someday. Already then, and now we are now going to begin with the Lionsgate re releases. So, this next is the 2009 re release of James Learns a Lesson. Yep, with the back to school edition cover art, as you can see. Yep. Excuse me once again, my apol my apologies. Like right now anyways, this next one is Thomas's Snowy Surprises. Thomas's Snowy Surprise, my bad. The 2009 re release. The features was originally released in 2003 and if I haven't said so for James learns a lesson, it was it was also originally released in 1990, and then the features was re-released in 2001 from Ghoulane Entertainment, and the features was re-released it again in 2005 from what I hear because of the different label, which I believe it contains the newer Anchor Bay logo at the beginning at the end along with the Hitter Entertainment logo, which I find that weird. 
And the DVD was also released in 2005, the same as the VHS with the different label on the tape. So yeah. Alrighty then, now like next is the 2009 re-release of Thomas's Sword of Celebration. Next, the, although it's bizarre, but here's the double feature Thomas and Friends DVDs of Thomas's trusty friend and on site with Thomas. Two DVDs in one. I believe it was purchased purchased at Big Lots. Oh. The double feature set was from 2009, if I haven't said so. On site with Thomas was originally released in 2006, and Thomas's trusty friends was originally released in 2007. And yeah, flipper disc it sucks. I don't even remember what sides are these two videos are. Great, I, it's just great. I knew if I forgot because of this stupid flipper DVD. <sighs> because of that flipper DVD, I forgot what these two videos are. <sighs> See, yeah, if I knew if it explains the reason why and how come I do hate flipper DVDs, all right? Alrighty then, now this next DVD is the 2009 release of Percy Takes the Plunge, which also known as Daisy Video from 1993, which it was originally released in on VHS. Next is the 2009 re-release of Mud Glorious Mud. Yep, it's the way to tell that the cover art's in really bad condition with rip and torn, so I can see. Next is Thomas and the Treasure from 2009. Wait, yeah, 2009. Just checking to make sure. Now here's the last one from this I meant here's the last one from Lionsgate, and this next one is a box set of Thomas and Friends Fun Pack free DVD set. This box set is from 2009. I might as well show y'all the box set first. Hmm. Here's the bottom, and here are the DVDs. Yep. Track Stars 2006 DVD. Next is Come Ride the Rails, um, 
which I believe it's also from two thousand and six. I think. Yep, it's also from two thousand and six. I just remembered. Just checking on myself to make sure, of course. Hmm. Inserts they came with. Here they are. I'm just not gonna go on detail. Um, if y'all cannot see the stuff too well, then I'm terribly sorry, but because I just want to get this video done, so that's why I'm a little quick. And plus, I didn't even go on detail on what I have, so that's the reason. Alrighty then, now like, I'm just gonna put all of the inserts back, so... Great. Alrighty then, got the inserts back. Mm. Yeah. Here's the last DVD in this box set, Carnival Capers, which... I think it's from 2007. Um, the DVD doesn't come with the sleepcase when I got it. Um, as y'all may wondering why it's in the sleepcase. Um, about the sleepcase copy of this DVD, it was originally bought in the trip store by Village in 2019, but by that time, how I find that weird, the disc wasn't showing the case, which is unfortunate, which... Why, of course, I had to buy the box set, well, although it was brand new with free DVDs, which is bizarre, well, although I shouldn't have bought it because of how it came with the old inserts, but I just had to go with by that DVD of this box set, including those, because of how I never had these two for a while. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. I believe the box set was still used when I... Got the free DVDs, which are still brand new and sealed. Although the free DVDs are still brand new and sealed, um, I'm not really sure, but I believe the box set was used. Hmm. Yep, I believe it was used because it was, they were covered, um, the free DVDs were wrapped up in a plastic rubber band. And for this box set, of course. Which is why the box set is used, but well, although three of the DVDs are still kept brand new and sealed. So yeah. Alrighty then, here are the inserts that came with, of course. Um, Um, for the longer inserts such as, um, this and this, I just don't feel like showing, and plus, for this one, I kind of do have a feeling like it's gonna take me, like, forever to get the booklet, which is right, folded, which is gonna be a hard time for me, so, not gonna barter revealing these two, well, I'm sorry, but I just don't feel like doing, hmm, I think I've already showed them to you in my... 2020 
collection. If you want to go see, of course. For the older inserts, I still kept in, but I don't know which DVD to use for these inserts, of course. Have no idea to tell. Great. Looks like I kept on, or, or as I've expected. Great. I knew if I just ended up making this video like too long as ifs, but that's just what it is. To reveal my collection video, which I know most of y'all, Thomas and Friends fans, have been waiting and have been dying to see this, so here y'all go, but. I might as well be try to be quick and my apologies if I'm taking forever than I thought but I just know if all of Thomas and Friends fans have been dying to see this so I might as well give it to y'all right now and I might as well put the iPad down while I might have to put the free DVDs back in this box set. Alrighty then. We got a couple more left to do before we're done and we are now going to begin the two of them which is from Universal. Now this next one is the, yep, the 2014 DVD release of Ultimate Christmas. Sorry, just, I knew if I had to remember but now I do correctly. Yep, I still remember that this release of that DVD I had it's from 2014. Um, it was originally released in, in 2007 from Hit Entertainment, but this 2014 release is also released from Hit Entertainment, but with with from Universal Studios Home Entertainment. Here's another Thomas and Friends double feature DVD. It contains two DVDs. Thomas gets tricked in Thomas's Halloween Adventures. Thomas's Halloween Adventures was originally released in 2006, and for Thomas gets tricked video, originally it was released on VHS in 1990, and then in 2007. The DVD was re-released from Anchor Bay and Hit Entertainment. Use the disc to Thomas's Halloween Adventures and the disc to Thomas Gets Tricked. And for the last three, which all might be showing, hmm, although I might think it ain't necessarily, but I'm just gonna show y'all the compilation ones which it had Thomas and Friends episodes on it which I'm feeling like doing it so why not I just decided to show y'all these but here are the last three that I might be showing before I'll be done but like right now anyways this next DVD is Springtime Fun from 2008 from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment and Hit Entertainment 2008 It contains a Thomas and Friends episode, Percy and the Magic Carpet, but for all of the other random episodes, I'm not going to mention, but only for Thomas and Friends. So, yeah. Hmm. I believe this booklet should be the same or not. If it's different, then here you go. Hmm. I don't remember if it's the same or not, but why not? I might as well show it to you all anyways. Like, here it is. I think it looks different. I don't know. Almost done. Two more DVDs. Summertime Fun, also from... 28th Century Fox, Home Entertainment, and Hit Entertainment, 2008. 
contains Thomas and Friends episode, Thomas and the Rainbow. Inserts. Wait. Never mind. Sorry, just checking to this to see if it's a booklet or not. Hmm. But it's not a booklet. Sorry, just checking to make sure. But like right now, anyways, here's the le here's this last DVD in this collection video, and this is also the one I got recently. As y'all saw in my last update ago, it's Frosty Friends from Lionsgate and Hit Entertainment, 2009. Contains Thomas and Friends episode of Percy's New Whistle. And there y'all have it. That's it for the 2021 edition of my Thomas and Friends DVD collection done. I hope you all enjoyed and I'm sorry if this is taking a little bit forever to get this done, but that's just what it is for y'all Thomas and Friends fans to see this collection video. So there y'all go, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next upload, and hope you take care. This is Mustafa's Movie Corner, signing out.